This is my MacBook Pro and it's awesome in so many ways, the 13 inch MacBook Pro. The one thing I don't love about it is when I'm editing and you know, I have like videos of myself and people are just staring at me and they can look from all sides. I'm not the biggest fan of that. It just makes me feel a little bit weird. So what I decided to do is pick up this privacy screen protector for my MacBook. So we got that sweet, sweet anti-peeping technology. Let's see what else we got. So it's privacy for protection. We got anti-blue light, which is awesome for the eyes because working long hours editing. We have UV protection, which is probably good for the screen. Anti-glare is actually something that's really important because there's so much glare on this screen. Anti-scratch is good. And then touch sense, I mean, I'm not gonna be touching it, but I'm sure if there's like different models of laptops, they also provide these. And if they're touch screen, then it's touch sensitive, which is awesome. So it's compatible with my MacBook and you have other options as well. So let's pull this open and see what it looks like on here. Do, do, do. So they're the number one bestseller on Amazon. They've sold over 400,000 pieces and they're popular among 20 plus countries. That is awesome. So they got a bit of a reputation. Okay, so we got everything out. First is the microfiber, which I'm definitely gonna have to wipe this down. We have an installation auxiliary kit, which I'm gonna need because my screen is a dirty. We got more instructions right here. And then of course the screen protector itself. Heck yeah, it is pretty thick. So this is gonna be pretty cool to install. Unless it's two pieces. Oh no, it's just one thick piece. Nice. Step one, clean the full screen with the alcohol wipe. I'm assuming it's gonna be in this package. It is, we got a bunch of stuff. So we got this little tool to help scrape out the bubbles. We have a dust absorber, we have our wet wipes, and then we have guide stickers and more dust absorbers. So. Let's take the wet wipes, let's go with step one and wipe down my entire screen. All right, from there, step two is to wipe the screen with our microfiber towel. Step three is to take the dust absorber and then just go around the screen a few times removing any dust that's on here. All right, from there, we're gonna take this guy out of the package and it says tab two or front. That side is going to be what's facing forward, so we're gonna put it like that. We're gonna to want to use the guide stickers to secure the side once we have it all lined up. Okay, I've actually never used these guide stickers before. I'm pretty sure they're supposed to go on the side where you start tearing the film. So let me uh, switch that around. Now that it's on the correct side, we move this back and then we start peeling. That makes more sense. Okay, heck yeah. Trying to line it up good. Let's see, that was perfectly aligned. Now we could just go and adhere this to the screen. The main part is you wanna make sure the camera part's in the middle and then it just fits properly around uh, the edges because there is a bit of like a rubber around the edges all around just to create a nice seal when it closes. So you just wanna be careful of that as well and make sure it hits um, before it hits the rubber. You don't want it hitting the rubber. All right, the last thing to do is then peel off the front part. Ooh, look at that. It definitely gives it a more matte finish, which I really like because the anti-glare. Let's actually give it like the worst case scenario. I'm gonna put my light up to it. That's not that bad. Here, I'll show you what it looks like with literally a flashlight shined at it. So. This is normal, right? And my lights are on, like the ceiling lights. So looking at this, this is totally usable. For some reason, the camera is picking up some like glare at the bottom, but I promise you in real life, that's not there. So for my phone, this is like full brightness. This is not that bad. This is really good. I like this. Now let's try to tilt to the side. Oh yeah, you can definitely see it starts blocking it out. That's awesome. And so if we go even farther from the side, it is pretty hard to see. So that's what that looks like. If you want to get one of these for yourself, I'm not talking about the MacBook, I'm talking about the privacy screen. It'll be in the description below. Let me know what you think of these privacy screens. Let me know what you think of MacBooks because um, they're pretty cool with the new M silicon. So hope this video was helpful. Hope you enjoyed and consider picking one of these up. I'll have the link in the description below.